Good morning, everybody. How many of you have watched a Major League Baseball game? What is some of the equipment that baseball players need in order to play? Well, let's think about it. Uh, a bat, a ball, a glove, probably a hat too, right? One player on the team, the catcher, has some very special equipment. The catcher is in a pretty dangerous spot right behind the batter and needs certain equipment for their protection. Let's go through it. A catcher wears shin guards to protect their knees and legs. The chest protector protects the middle part of the body. The mask protects the catcher's face from foul tips or pitches that might get past their glove. The glove protects the hand as you catch the ball. As a one-time catcher myself, trust me when I say, no catcher would ever think of going into the game without these things, these, this protective equipment. You know, the Bible teaches us that you and I need protection in our lives too. The Bible calls it the armor of God, which protects us from evil plans to hurt us. What kind of protection does the Bible say that we need? Well, let's go through each piece together and see what it says. First, we have the belt of truth. The Bible tells us that God's enemy, Satan, is the father of lies. But Satan can never win if we hold on to the truth that Jesus is Lord. Second, we have the breastplate of righteousness. We can't go wrong when we choose to do what God says is right. Next, our feet are fitted with the gospel of peace. You see, Satan tries to create worry and confusion in our lives, but knowing Jesus brings peace even in troubled times. The next thing we have is the shield of faith. Satan will try to plant seeds of doubt in our heart and minds, but those seeds of doubt won't take root when we have our faith in Jesus. Next is the helmet of salvation. Jesus came from heaven to earth to save us from the evil one. That's always good to know and to keep in mind and to share with others. And now we have the sword of the spirit, the Bible, God's holy word, which is both defensive and offensive. Just as a catcher needs protective equipment, Christians need all the protection God has given us. This protection, it's for us, and it keeps us from evil and keeps us in good. That's good news. Thanks be to God. You know what? Let's pray. Ready, set, pray. Dear God, thank you for the protection that you have given us against the evils of this world and the plans to harm us. Help us to always remember to put on every piece of your armor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for coming, everybody.